And so there's a lot of things with kids you don't see coming. There's opportunities. I remember Corey caught me one night, and she's my C student, but she's really good. I like her. And, uh, so she came one night, and it's about 10 o'clock. Now, I, figured, I got a problem at school. Well, honey, don't cry about it. We, we take care of it. What is it? Well, we got a science fair project coming due. Well, babe, we'll help you out. I know you don't like it, but we'll, we'll help you get some. We well, understand. It's due tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? How long have you known about this? Well, for the last three months. <laughs> and you just tell me tonight? How stupid. I'm on load, verbal, man. I'm going, verbal negatives moving. So they say, Joe, shut up. Take her to Walmart and find some. Walmart? They don't, have a, they don't have an aisle for science fair projects at Walmart. I've been in Walmart. Well, you got to get her something. She needs a project and you got to make something happen. So I get in the car and we drive. We're way out in the country. I'm yelling, how could you be so stupid? And I start praying in tongues. I'm trying to pray in tongues. I get, how could you be so stupid? I shung that off my cast Lord. And she's crying and I'm mad. We get halfway to town in Bixby and we come up to the old 7-Eleven that was there. I thought, I pulled in 7-Eleven. She said, what are you doing? We're getting a science fair project. I got to use my faith anyhow. I'm not going to waste all that time driving to Walmart. They're going to get one right in here. They don't have science fair. They don't have one at Walmart either. Shut up and get out. So we got out and we walk in. And everybody knows me. I buy gas there all the time. I said, hey, how you doing, Frank? What are you doing? Looking for a science fair project. He giggled. He thought I was joking. They just had two little aisles. So I'm sitting there looking, Corey's crying. Shut your face up. And I'm looking. And they had a big bag of cotton balls. I said, get that bag of cotton balls, 250 cotton balls. We're going to shut up. I don't know. We're starting with somewhere. And so, and then they had seven brands of hairspray, which had been there a while. There was dust on them. Nobody bought them. Seven different brands of hairspray. And the seven left said, get, get every one of those. Get one of each of those. She goes, I bought a box of matches. I said, come on. We got your project. You, what are you going to do? Shut up. I'm going home. So we got back home. And I got a big piece of plywood out on the back porch. And I lined those cotton balls up. And I got some Elmer's glue. So I glued one row of cotton balls. A second row of cotton balls, seven rows of cotton balls. I got a stopwatch from upstairs. Get the stopwatch. Come here. You're part of this project. Take this hairspray. Take this first and soak this first row of that hairspray. Now, I'm going to light a match. You're going to time how long it takes this to burn. And so I struck a match. And <laughs> second row. Through. So I, all I'll tell you is if you ever run out of lighter fluid, white rain <laughs> is really flammable. <laughs> so... I, I, had a, I had a poster board and we drew the project up and wrote the stats, gave them all the times, and she got a C on that the next day. She should have got an F, but she got a C. And the teacher was impressed. Man, I use white rain. I'm not going to use it anymore. Oh, yeah, man, that's flam. <laughs> you know. And so, as a parent, you're called for, by God to solve problems in your family, not be a newspaper editor from hell. And problems don't schedule their time. Hell is, hey, I'm coming at 2 o'clock tomorrow, get ready. Hell never tells you when it's coming. But evidently, you've been equipped by God to be a problem solver. Blessed are the problem solvers. They'll be called the children of God.